this is perfect timing. I just adopted an FIV positive cat. Well, congratulations and what a big heart. Great job. Um, FIV positive for you guys that don't know is feline immunodeficiency virus. It's just like HIV in humans. Um, it's a virus that is uh, usually spread between cats by fighting. Um, it's bloodborne disease. And so that's typically how it is, um, it is spread. And it's mostly seen in male cats that haven't been neutered actually, because they're the ones that are out there fighting. And it does affect the immune system in such a way to make these animals more vulnerable to infection, right? They are immunosuppressed. So the question is, do you have any recommendations on how to support or boost his immune system? Well, some people have um, success with uh, supplementing their cat with lysine, which is just a natural supplement that they can use to boost their cat's um, immune system, right? And so it comes in all different versions. There are chews, there are powders, there are several different brands out there. Um, Viralyse by Vetquinol makes one. Vetriscience makes one. Um, I would just go to Chewy and type in lysine. And basically it's an immune supplement for cats that can help um, help boost their immune system. Another thing that you can do for this cat, obviously you've probably already heard this from your vet, but keep this cat indoors. And that's not only to protect this cat from whatever infections that are out there. Wow, this sounds like COVID-19, whoa, okay. But it's also to protect other cats from your cat, right? Because that's how it's, sp it's spread from cat to cat to cat, usually through bites. So lysine. Great, great option. Another thing, probiotics. You guys may not know this, but our bodies and our cat's bodies are actually more bacterial cells than human cells or cat cells. Isn't that crazy? And they know now that the gut, which houses all of the bacteria, right? And they call that your microbiome, is vastly responsible for your, your mood, your health, your immune system. They now know that your largest immune system is actually in your gut, right? Your gut has not only immune system, it also has a brain, which is very interesting, but we won't talk about that. So another way you can boost this cat's immune system is probiotics, probiotic supplementation. All that does is continue to supplement that cat with good bacteria, right? We want to make sure this cat has the correct my microbiome to best support this cat's health. Um, and then a third thing you can do is just make sure that this cat is at an optimum weight and be eating high quality nutrition, right? Nutrition, <laughs> big topic. Don't know if I want to dive too much into it, but you are what you eat. And if you have a weakened immune system, then you need to feed that immune system with the best nutrients possible. So get this cat on a high quality, highly digestible, low grain diet. Okay. And we're not going to talk about grain free. We're not going to talk about all of that, but this cat needs protein. This cat needs protein to not only to build muscle, but for energy and for immune support. Um, and I would also recommend if you can make sure that you keep this cat on a combination of wet and dry food. If you're, the cat will eat both. And then make sure that if you see any signs of infection in this cat, um, fever, loss of energy, uh, signs of skin infection, red, red skin, um, respiratory infection, runny eyes or sneezing nose, diarrhea, vomiting. If you see any of those, get them addressed immediately because your cat doesn't have the resources necessary to overcome the infection on their own. Another big thing I see in these guys, dental disease. We want to make sure to have their teeth addressed on a regular basis so that they don't have the additional stress on their system of having dental infections.